Lesson 2.4, building the right ads. Your ads are going to be made up of three components, all of which work together to shape your story and create high intent users. We're going to take a closer look at how your images, your headlines, and your landing pages can affect your performance in the native space. Keep in mind that the next lessons will outline common best practices for most advertisers, but sometimes those best practices aren't enough. As a helpful resource, Taboola has built out a trends platform that can give you a deeper insight by location, vertical, platform, and even language. Check out trends.taboola.com for data that speaks and is right for you. In fact, before we even dive in, go and check it out now. Pause this video, don't worry, I'll be waiting when you get back. Open a new tab in your browser and navigate to trends.taboola.com. For each section, select the category, platform, language, and target country that most closely relates to your brand and see what the top performing items are. Do it now, I'll be waiting. Pretty cool, huh? The page is constantly updating, so I'd recommend that you bookmark it. As user behavior evolves on the web, so will the trends we find. But now, let's look at your actual ads. Every advertisement will come with three major components we will start with. The visual, your images. Your visual is a powerful tool that will be used to grab the user's attention. On Taboola, you are able to upload static images, GIF files, or even short videos up to 10 seconds long. That visual should aim to stop the user in their tracks and get them to read your headline and discover more about you. You may have some existing images or videos in your repertoire that work well on other channels. But here is where you want to take a moment to think about what is unique to the open web user. Rachel Zalta, Taboola's own behavioral psychologist, has highlighted a few key elements to consider when designing what visuals to use. The first may seem obvious, and that's to put yourself in the customer's shoes. You may have the coolest products on the market, but unless you are appealing to your buyers, you won't get that off the ground. With the amount of clutter on the open web, what can you do to provide a more enjoyable ad experience for them? Consider finding images that are bright and feature an array of colors. Avoid being monochromatic where you can. Diversity is another key driver here. Are you representing everyone in your ads that has the potential to buy your product? So often, advertisers miss out on key audiences simply by not featuring them in their ads. And what's more, is that it will drive additional key insights that you can use to continuously shape your brand. From there, your next big challenge is to avoid looking like a banner ad. Don't clutter your images with text about how users can save 20% off or that you're getting ready for your next big sale. Save that for the more static placements. Remember that the native user is in exploration mode. They are looking to engage, not to be sold to. And lastly, A-B test, A-B test, A-B test. Platforms like Taboola give you the option to upload multiple creatives so that you can parse out the good from the bad and can also employ all of these strategies with ease. Now, once you've picked your visuals, it's time to move to the appeal, your headlines and description. Designing a good headline is a big challenge. The user has seen your image and is now ready to learn more. What can you say to attract their attention and encourage that click? The headline is the first text users will see. And that's what we will focus on today. You also have the option to add a brief description to your ads, but without a good headline and image, that description won't get you very far. Your first step is to set user expectations. What are they about to read or purchase? If you lead with a headline like, you won't believe what millennials are doing with their feet, and then serve them content about your socks, you have created a disconnect. Sure, you might get the user to see your brand, but it most assuredly won't come with a long-term engagement. Instead, appeal to that story you have developed and create titles that align your brand with the audience's interests. 
A few of the tactics that we find that work well include numbered lists. I don't know about you, but if I see a title that says three ways to wear a denim jacket, then I'm sure going to click on it. Bonus points if you use odd numbers lower than 10, because who wants to read pages and pages of denim jackets? FOMO, bandwagoning, makes the user feel that they are missing out on something by not knowing your brand. And we have found that it creates a 16% higher engagement than other titles. You might try something like, if you haven't tried these pajamas, are you really sleeping in luxury? And on that note, ask questions. Curiosity may have killed the cat, but it just got me these nice sunglasses. Titles that are posed as direct questions have almost a 32% higher click rate than other titles. There is no single solution to the right headline. But as long as you are creating an honest and enticing moment of engagement, you are sure to win that user as a long-term customer. And now that you have your ideal image and headline combo, we turn our focus to the last major component, the moment of next, your landing page. It's time to drive it home. The user has seen your picture, they're intrigued by your headline, and now it's time to close. I mentioned earlier that users are more engaged with a native placement than other traditional editorial ads, and we can use that to our advantage. We will cover the basics here, but if you are looking for additional expert guidance, you can find sellers that can create this content for you. Check out Fiverr's course on creating high converting landing pages. If there is one major piece to convey, it's that content is key. When users are in their moment of next, they are ready to read and to engage. Driving to your home page may not be the best tactic, as it leaves those explorative tendencies to wander. Keep the focus of the user by presenting content on what you hope to achieve. Blog posts, advertorials, numbered lists, data sheets, white paper downloads, these are all ways to inspire users to read more and discover your brand. But be sure to keep it short. Try to keep the content around or below 600 words. Another piece of advice is to keep it simple. Make sure that your landing page focuses on one deliverable. Try to avoid providing a navigation bar or links to your social channels. This provides them with an opportunity to leave before they have had the chance to fully embrace your content. Keep that user focused on what you are trying to achieve, whether that be a lead, a sale, or something else. In that same vein, make sure that the user can immediately understand your offer. Don't be like those online recipes that start with a blog post about the day they discovered the beauty of the Irish countryside before presenting a recipe for shepherd's pie. Keep a clear line of thought throughout the page. And above all else, add a CTA that stands out. Don't be afraid to ask the user to complete an action, whether it be fill out a form or purchase a product. It is our recommendation to place a soft CTA, like a learn more button, about a third of the way down the page, and a firm CTA at the bottom of the article, so that you can present your own moment of next. Phew. We made it, almost. Remember that notepad and paper? That's right, bring that out one last time. At the bottom, I'd like you to describe what image you would like to use to bring attention to your product. Be as detailed as you can be, and include any colors you want to see, people you wish to showcase, and anything else that you think will draw someone's eye to your page. If you are taking these notes on a computer, feel free to add an actual image. Underneath that, write a short and snappy headline to match. Try and keep it below 50 characters and don't over fluff it. Now think, does this relate to the image? If so, great. If not, do you need to alter the image or headline so that they work together a bit more? Now look at all of the notes you have taken thus far. See it yet? you just wrote content for a strong landing page and an image and headline combo that you can use for your very first ad. Once again, this exercise will be available for you with our text lessons downloadable file. 